Hi students, last month when I made the video for ISRO notification of EMC that is Electronics, Mechanical and Computer Science, I, I told you that you very soon we can expect one more notification from ISRO and that is from the SEPO, okay, uh, which will include a notification, the recruitment for civil, not only for civil but also for electrical engineering. Yes, they have finally uh, recru uh, floated that particular notification. Let's look into it. Although uh, same thing I told you that for electrical and civil, uh, the vac vacancies will be less only, not as comparable to electronics or mechanical or computer science, but yes, another other opportunities has come up so we should be aware about this so when you go to the careers web page of isro okay you will be clearly finding this particular update okay the first update that is you know advertisement by the sepo okay once you click on to it you will be landed to this particular page of course they have not you know right now put the detailed pdf of the recruitment but all details are put here when you go to click here to apply online okay just click this okay and you will be landed up to this particular page okay now uh, the uh, online application portal opens on uh, 24th of June midnight and uh, it is going to be act active till 14th of July. This much is the time you have. Okay, now the uh, SEPO, okay, which is officially named as Civil Engineering Program Office. Okay, what are the vacancies included here? Okay, what are the vacancies included here? Okay, so it's not only civil. Okay, it's not only civil. Okay, of course, the vacancies are for civil as well, 18, but for electrical also 10. I told you it's not that uh, huge number of vacancies like electronics have got 113, mechanical have got 160 and computer science has got 44 uh, these are less but yes another opportunity has come up okay uh, you know uh, for civil of course your btech should be in civil engineering with uh, you know a minimum of 65 percent marks or if you are in the cjps scale it should be 6.84 okay for electrical your btech should be in electrical engineering or electronics and electrical engineering double e or triple e okay aggregate same 65 percent or on the cgpa of uh, scale of 10 it should be minimum 6.84 okay also nine vacancies uh, under rac refrigeration air conditioning one for architecture and one for uh, civil autonomous bodies okay now let's come to some important parts of the notification okay so yeah uh, age limit see most of the things i would say most of the things are very similar to the emc notification okay so like if you see the age limit Okay, it's, uh, you know, 28 years, uh, the upper age limit is 28 years as on the last date of the application filling and that is 14th of July, as I told you. Okay, uh, with some exceptions as mentioned, it should be, it is 33 in case of SCST, 31 in case of OBC candidates, right? Now, how to apply its online application and all that you can check. Okay, let's come to the important details and the next important part that everybody is looking for is the selection process. Exactly same as that of EMC exactly same as that of the emc there is no difference okay that means the paper is going to be containing of two different parts there are total 100 questions okay sorry that is total 100 marks i mean okay so there are two parts part a and part b okay part a technical your area or sp specific base technical 80 mcq questions okay all are mcq technical as per your syllabus like electrical syllabus or civil syllabus okay uh, one mark each okay and with a negative marking of one third okay that makes it 80 into 180 marks part b is aptitude or ability test okay which will contain 15 questions of 20 marks like 5 2 marks question and 10 1 marks question okay the so 15 questions of uh, 20 marks but there is no negative marking in the aptitude portion okay now what are the different areas in aptitude this areas of aptitude they have not mentioned in the EMC uh, notification but these are the areas they mentioned in the last year notification 2023 was the first paper when aptitude was a part of ISRO because earlier prior to 2023 uh, you know in ISRO only technical paper was there 80 technical questions okay they used to be of three marks now they are of one marks but 80 technical questions was the fixed pattern from many years now they have introduced 15 questions of aptitude uh, since the last 2023 notification so whatever topics they mentioned in 2023 same they have mentioned here numerical reasoning logical reasoning diagrammatic reasoning abstract reasoning deductive reasoning okay what type of questions have been asked if you want to know in depth you, you know very recently i have taken a video on our own youtube channel where i have discussed all that 15 questions of 2023 paper so you can see how the level was and what type of questions were included okay now moving to the next thing okay then you know those who qualify written they will be called up for the interview the next is the interview okay and interview uh, they are called in the ratio of 1 is to 5 same as emc notification like electrical 10 vacancies are there so 50 students will be called up for the interview okay now they have clearly given the bifurcation of interview interview they will consider for 100 marks okay they will be considering counting the interview for 100 marks so you can see this very very clearly okay that 40 marks okay are for your technical knowledge okay 40 marks is purely for your technical knowledge then comes 20 marks for general awareness in your particular technical branch like if you're electrical student the general application part of power systems of power electronics machines the general awareness about your electrical branch what it is and where all uh, you know it you can see it okay 10 uh, 20 marks goes to your presentation 
okay another 10 marks goes to the comprehension uh, you know how uh, you, as a compre you know how depth you have in the particular subject in the particular concept you know how broadly you have covered the syllabus and etc okay and finally 10 marks for your academic achievement like your cgpas and etc which is clearly mentioned you can read into it or you can later on go to the website and read these things clearly okay this is 100 marks now to qualify and to be considered for final selection there are some minimum uh, set uh, cut off they have set okay 50% let me talk about written paper 50% in part A and part B that means in technical also minimum 40 marks and in aptitude also minimum 10 marks is compulsory in interview also as I told interview they're writing for 100 marks minimum 50 marks is compulsory okay on a whole as an aggregate 60% is compulsory like if I take the whole paper con containing written and interview as 100 marks paper you have to have minimum 60 or be above otherwise you are not recruited okay there are some relaxations for the reserved candidates that 50% becomes 40% so 40% in part A and part B both uh, of technical 40% in interview and overall 50% in the overall paper okay so that is how uh, they have given now while making the final merit list what is important only written or interview uh, and of course first stage written is important because if you don't qualify the written you don't go to the interview but okay let's say you qualify you give the interview you get a good marks in interview also how the final merit list is made 50% weightage is given to the written 50% given to the interview and then the final merit list is considered so that means uh, for the final ranking both are important not only written but written and interview are equally important of course i repeat first stage written is important you have to focus there okay but final for the final selection okay written and interview both will be important so don't worry once uh, the written is over and interview dates are announced uh, you know we can plan uh, some interview uh, sessions interview guidance sessions for you okay now coming to a very important part that students uh, you know are uh, you know that will usually attract the students you see three important uh, reasons you can be fascinated for this job number one the profile Okay, you are uh, working in an esteemed organization like Indian Space Research Organization as a scientist C. Initially, start your career itself as a scientist post with a scientist C label. Okay, number two, okay, they fancy pay scale because you are selected as under the level 10 of the pay matrix. Okay, level 10 of the pay matrix with the basic minimum pay of 56,100. And you know, while you're working in government organization, this basic minimum pay is almost in your pocket only because rest all your HRA, you know, your travel expenses, uh, the medical facilities for you and for dependent. That means all the basic needs that a person has is almost taken care by government itself. Okay, so you have all this as a saving. And a very third, very important third reason is the job security that is attached with any of the, you know, government jobs. Okay, so uh, of course, it's a very, for engineers, it's a very good career to start with. So don't like, into maybe 10 number of vacancies see even if one or two vacancies are there somebody will get it na? okay so if somebody can get it count yourself as somebody so don't look into you know number of vacancies somebody will get it okay make yourself as that somebody who can take this 10 vacancies of electrical or the 18 of civil of course i repeat there are more vacancies for electronics or mechanical or computer science but even if less vacancies somebody will grab it okay try and fight hard okay if you have to be that somebody okay right so uh yeah uh, these are the important details as i told you the application process is open till 14th of july that is important okay so you can you have enough time but if you are sure you're going to write it don't delay and start filling up the form as early as possible exam dates are not announced but uh, it may be anywhere in the next two to three months but as per the last uh, year uh, observation if i say most likely i expect it to be towards the later part of the year i mean towards november december or october okay november december is what i'm expecting more it should not go to january also okay but yeah be prepared anywhere after two to three months exam may be announced they have not announced a date for sepo they have not announced a date for emc also but two to three months uh, you know make a target at least okay so that even if the exam comes early you are ready make a target that in two to three months at least in two months you have to revise your syllabus you have to solve the pyqs isro pyqs gate one mark pyqs and etc what to do what not to do for isro i have already made some strategy videos you can go through it available on the home youtube channel okay so make a target uh, and then if the exam is not in two to three months if you're getting more time you can revise more you can practice more you will be an advantage only okay right so you know prepare accordingly all the very best for your preparation uh, take this opportunity uh, as another chance of uh, conquering a good uh, career okay uh, so yeah that's it whenever the exam dates are announced uh, we'll we'll plan accordingly we'll make uh, you know more uh, sessions and uh, things for you accordingly okay so do not forget to subscribe to the ohm youtube channel uh, to be aware about all the uh, things and all the sessions happening uh, on the channel thank you stay safe and take care of yourself